Hi, welcome. My name is Danielle. Um, I'm a mother to a beautiful 16-month-old boy, and I'm also halfway through my pregnancy for my second child. I have entered the clucky nesting stage of pregnancy. Um, if you're watching this video, quite likely you are also pregnant, so you know the feeling that when you see baby clothes, you just your heart melts and you almost feel like crying because they're so cute. So I've entered that stage of pregnancy, which means that I have sorted through all the old boy clothes I had, and I am now going to share with you the exact number of each item that I'll be using with my second child. So when I was first pregnant, I had no idea well, which clothes I needed and how many of each. It was more the how many of each. So today I'm going to share with you which items I'm going to be keeping for my second baby and which items I've bought, and the exact number of each that I'll be using. So I think that'll be really helpful for a lot of people. The first time round, I ended up with way too many clothes. A lot of it I didn't even use. I got some as gifts and I never took the tags off. So you actually don't need that much clothes from newborn to three months. So let's get started. I'm going to share with you the exact number of which items I'm going to have for my second baby from newborn to three months. Now you can see either side of me there's a basket. This is all the clothes I have from newborn to three months. I do keep them together. Um, babies tend to grow overnight and change, <laughs> change sizes very fast. And also, depending on the brand and what item it is, they might move um, up faster in some things than others. So I do keep them all together, and I have them separated into sleepers and rompers, and then some bodysuits, pants, um, and jumpers, and socks, and thingies in this one. First up, sleepers. So that is this basket here. This is entirely full of sleepers. They are the staple baby clothes. You will be dressing a baby in this almost every day, probably multiple times a day if you have blowouts. Now I have my newborn ones here, and then the zero to three months here. All right, numbers. I have eight newborns and 12 zero to three months. So that's 20 in total. It's the item that I have the most of. So let me take you through a few key sort of aspects that you want to look for when you get some newborn uh, sleepers. Now you do want feet attached, especially for the newborn size. So you can see here, they have little feet attached to them at the bottom. This is so much handier than socks. Socks just tend to come off, they get lost, you lose one and the other one's useless. This is so much easier. You also want to look for um, ones that have little fold over mitten hands. This stops the baby scratching themselves. Um, when they're first born, they have really sharp nails and they're really hard to cut, so it's very helpful to be able to fold over these to prevent them scratching their faces. Now, there are some onesies that have press studs going all the way down the front, and some onesies. Um, like this one here, that have zippers going down the front. So they have a zipper that goes down the front all the way down to the leg. Some people love one, some people love the other. I actually love both. Zippers are faster, that is the benefit of them, and they also go from the bottom up, which is handy for in the middle of the night nappy changes. They are super fast. Press studs take a little bit longer to clip up, but I think press studs actually sit nicer on the body, they sort of sit flatter. Sometimes the zippers could sort of bunch a little bit around the chest, um, but I, I don't actually have one that I recommend over the other, I think they're both great. And with the press studs you can also open from the bottom to do nappy changes in the middle of the night without having to take off the arms as well. As sleepers are the most important baby item that you'll be using, you will be dressing a baby in them every day, so I would really recommend getting some really cute patterns because you'll be looking at them a lot. Make sure the newborn ones have feet, but then with the zero to three month um, I have some with feet, some without. Same with the hands, I have some with, some without. You start being able to chop the nail a little bit better. Uh, also in this basket here, I have, do have some short sleeve rompers. Um, so there's short arm, um, short sleeve. So I, I don't have any in the newborn size, but I have uh, four in the zero to three month size. So they're, they're very cute. Um, probably more beneficial if you're having a baby in warmer weather rather than cooler weather. Um, but they are very sweet. All right, let's talk bodysuits. Another staple. Um, I have them in this one, this basket here. Now they do come in different um, sleeve lengths. So they have no legs, they clip under the nappy, um, but they have either no sleeve, so little, little like singlets, or they have short sleeves like t-shirts, or they have long sleeves. So there are three different types, all bodysuits. Numbers. So in the, the bodysuits with no sleeve, I have three newborn and five zero to three months. In the short sleeved ones, I have 
two newborn at five, zero to three months. And in the long sleeve, I have five newborn and five, zero to three months. The reason why these ones, I don't actually have that many newborn is they sort of, they're not that much different to zero to three months and the newborn sizes because the length of the um, sleeves and legs don't matter as much. That's just the torso length. So I found they moved really fast into the zero to three months ones. And also if they were a little bit baggy, it didn't matter too much. Uh, these are really great for popping underneath sleepers if it's cold weather or just for wearing. They have little press studs that clip um, sort of between the legs, which keep them down. So I do not recommend having any vests or singlets um, on your baby. I didn't use a single one. They just ride up. They look a bit silly, but they also just ride up. So they're quite uncomfortable if the baby's lying down and they're bunched up around them. So I would recommend just having bodysuits and having no... Um, no vests at all. Now the neck of these, some of them have an envelope neck here, so you can see it sort of folds over like an envelope. Um, they're super handy, they're easy to put over the head because they stretch quite large. Babies often don't really like things going over their face. They also can then get rolled down over the body to um, take off by the legs if, no, when <laughs> there is a poo explosion. So very helpful. Some of them like this, this has a press stud, so it opens up to make the neck bigger. Also, again, so you can put it over the head easily and, again, pop it all the way down over. This one has a row of buttons at the front, um, so they, they can come undone. It's a little bit trickier with buttons. Um, some of the ones that I have in the long ones also have a kimono style which go across, which is also really easy to take on and off because you can open it up, um, open it fully up, lay baby on it and then dress them and cover them. Um, again, if there's poo explosions, they're quite easy to get on and off. So kimono style are great. Um, ones with buttons on the front, ones with buttons on the arms or envelope sleeves. You definitely want some form of ability to make it bigger around the neck so you can get it on and off. I have mostly just plain um, singlet ones um, because if you want to put pants with, you don't want sort of a, too much patterns or going on. And I often put them underneath ones in as well so you don't actually really see them. Next, we're going to talk about jumpers. Depending on when you have your baby in the year, you'll need more or less. I have one newborn size jumper and three zero to three months size jumpers. Uh, because they're going sort of over, uh, it doesn't, it's not that much difference in sizing because they do have to be a little bit larger and way to fit over other clothing. Um, so these ones are actually very similar in size. So I have four. Um, they are very, very cute. I love some baby jumpers. You don't need very many um, because they won't be wearing them that often. It's mainly when you go outside. Make sure, just like with the bodysuits, that the, you have the ability to make the neck quite large, so buttons, um, or this one here has a zipper, um, so you can get it on and off. This one is insanely cute. It has little elbow patches as well. Now you'll notice there's something I don't have here, and that is a jumper with a hood. So they're adorable, they're so cute, and I had them last time, but hoods are not great for the really young babies. Use them from six months onwards, but for really little babies, they just get in the way. So babies can't sit up when they're really young, unless you sort of prop them up. So they'll be spending most of their time lying on their back, and the hood just gets in the way, or you need to put them over the head, and there's a little bit of a suffocation risk. So I would not recommend having anything with a hood. Just choose the ones without a hood then they can sleep in them much easier and lie down much more comfortably. All right, so next we have overalls. Now, overalls are my very favourite item of baby clothes, no matter what the age, from a newborn all the way up to my son's age, which is 16 months. And it's not because they are practical, because when they're really young, they're not practical. It is because they are the cutest thing you have ever seen. Um, I don't have any in the... You want size? I have four in the zero to three month size. In terms of recommendations, you don't need them. They're actually not very practical, but I love them, so I still have them. And I've still got four. Um, I put a little bodysuit underneath. Make sure you have something to clip under the nappy, otherwise it rides up. And these ones are more of a, like a bit of a, a thicker material. The ones that are actually comfier for them are these more sort of soft cloth ones here. So get them by all means because they're incredibly cute, but you don't need very many because they're actually not super practical. Right. Next up, pants. So I have three newborn sizes 
and five zero three month sizes. Um, the pants are really good. They go with sort of over um, the bodysuits to make a little outfit. They're not quite as practical as the sleepers, uh, but they are quite cute. In terms of patterns, be quite careful. If you've got quite colorful bodysuits or patterned, try to get plain pants, or if you've got plain bodysuits, you can get some sort of patterned pants. But if you end up with you know stripes and polka dots or some you know, tigers and then uh, stripes, it all just gets a bit much. So make sure you do have quite a few plain ones in order. Um, I really like, like the, the thicker, warmer, tracky pants ones if you're having a baby in cooler weather. If you're having a baby in warmer weather, perhaps go with the more sort of tights um, that are thinner. The newborn sizes, um, I really recommend sort of getting quite a thick waistband. Um, they sort of sit nicer on the stomach and it's really comfy for baby. So it, they look quite funny because they sort of put very short legs and, they're, um, and a wide waist but these ones actually sit really quite nicely. All right, shorts. I don't have any newborn size shorts, but I have two zero to three month size shorts. Um, they, they're great, they're cute if you're having a summer baby. If you're having a winter baby, I wouldn't bother at all. Honestly, you'll probably just have them in a little a onesie and just have their legs out. So that's all the clothing items. I do have some hats. So I have four hats here. Um, you notice that they're all quite plainly coloured, so these ones are sort of neutral, but it's stripes and spots, and these ones are completely plain. I do recommend having plain colours for the hats, because you'll probably be matching them with, you know, just say, this onesie, uh, which is very colourful, and then if you had a really colourful clashing hat, it's not so great, but paired it with a really plain hat, it's very cute. Um, four hats, you, you could probably get away with two or three, really, and just make sure they're plain. And if you're having a winter baby, you might like a sort of a thicker knit one. Socks. I do have some socks, and I did keep them, because I did use them a bit last time. But they will probably keep fitting from three to six months as well. So I've kept them mainly to be used when the baby's actually over three months. So I have six pairs here. They're quite colourful, because that's what I had. I would actually recommend getting a plain colour. So just get, you know, all black, all grey, all white. Um, don't get the stripes because, again, if you put them with a onesie like this, they end up clashing quite a lot. Uh, I also have two slime hats that are not here, um, but I do recommend getting a few of those, especially if you live somewhere that is warmer. All right, now for some items that you do not need. Number one, shoes. Babies can't walk. We all know this, yet we still often end up with some little shoes. Um, the baby will kick them off or they'll be really hard to get on or they're really uncomfortable and not actually very good for foot development. So I wouldn't recommend getting any shoes until they're actually starting to stand up and walk. Probably somewhere between nine months and a year and a half, so you've got a while for shoes. Another item that you'll notice I do not have are any sort of singlet vests, t-shirts or long sleeve tops. They are really annoying. So you pick baby up often under the arms, which means if they don't clip under the nappy, you just pull it up, they end up bunching around the chest. They don't look great and they're quite uncomfortable because they're all bunched up and very annoying. So I would not get anything that doesn't clip under the nappy. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope that you found it really helpful to know which items and how many of each you need. Uh, good luck with your pregnancy and I can't wait for you to have your little boys and girls and to dress them in the cutest clothing ever. Bye.